Hello, XP Reviews, back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. I am Dan. I am Mike. Dan, what are we drinking? <laughs> Mike, we have a beer out of Shelburne, Vermont. Ooh, and this right. is... Uh, Just next door. This is from Fiddlehead <gasps> uh, Brewing Company. And this is their Fiddlehead IPA. Outstanding. So, yeah, uh, this is canned on 1-4-2024, so... Yeah, a little over a month. A little over a month. So yeah, Fiddlehead is one of those uh, old school IPAs. Yeah. Sort of like the Ver Vermont style IPA, yeah. right? Um, it's a, I love the can. Like it always catches my eye when I see it. Um, I almost consider, I forget it's from Vermont a lot of the time because I see it at so many like local restaurants. I'm yeah. like, oh, I'm getting a burger and a, and a salad. Oh, give me a Fiddlehead. Like. So yeah, Fiddlehead, they kind of started showing up right around the pandemic. Uh, the COVID times. That's when, like, you start getting more distro. And they just sort of kind of blew up. Now they're uh, this and their second fiddle. Second everywhere. fiddle. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I didn't even say 6.2 ABV okay. uh, India Pale Ale. Uh, they're classifying it as an American Pale Ale. The hops are not disclosed, but if you look up on a bunch of, like, homebrew places and things, uh, pretty much everyone is kind of saying it's Citra, yeah. uh, Cascade, and Centennial. Some said Simcoe, Sim maybe, maybe. Maybe Simcoe. Okay, all right. Um, but that would make sense because I'll tell you what. I've had this multiple times. Yeah. Fresh Fiddlehead oh. is like, it, I get really kind of dank, like marijuana vibes. Yeah, yeah, I, I do too. And it, that is a bright, oh, juicy Kool-Aid orange. Nice little foamy finger mm -hmm. head on it. Like, it looks like a great, just single IPA. I just got thick. I was like, man, we've never really done this on the channel. I like, still so. can't believe we haven't. There's that aroma. So it's, so when I mean like dank uh, marijuana vibes, it is very vegetal. You just yes. get this. It's Dude. a real nice vegetal floral citrusy note. It, it. it tastes like that. It, or is, it smells like that sticky, icky, like just. You want to roll the aroma and smoke oh, it. Oh, yeah. Basically. Yeah, definitely. That's what he said. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, I mean... But instead of that, we're just going to swirl. Swirl! Swirl! Swirl away! La, la, la. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Let's dive in real quick. Cheers. It's delicious. Um, you know what? The, the fruit is a... It's a bright, sunshiny candied fruit but the candy is those you remember the suckers you used to get from the bank that had like the looped yep. handles yep that's what that is yeah and it finishes with a what i like a really nice dry bitter grassy note on the back mm -hmm. end that leaves a lot of the citrus still on the front but it makes you want to go back for more <laughs> such a good beer yeah i mean if i could build upon that um right on the 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 first forefront of the palate, I'm really getting that that wheat kind of grainy malt. Oh yeah, okay. Like the the malt's very present in this. Mm -hmm. it, it's very nice, and it's like it's kind of like a doughy yeasty kind of thing. Okay. Um, but yeah, you get that big citrus kind of like really just tropical, not tropical, more citrus vein. Yeah. Uh, pith, pithy. Yeah. You know, thing going on, but yeah. Still, I just feel like it's, I feel like I'm just like around fresh marijuana. Okay. It's just like that dankness. I don't, I don't know if you're getting that as much, but just for me. That's I don't think I'm getting as much as you, but I know exactly what you're saying. But yeah. It's, it, it's still, this this beer is so synonymous with like a local pub, like eating a burger and it's, some fries and drinking this beer. Yeah, this beer is. So here's the thing. If you're Haze Boy, I think this quenches your thirst. If you're an American IPA person, this definitely quenches your thirst. Although, I, I think some Haze boys might not find yeah. this. Because, like, ah, it's, like, bitter. It's got bitterness to it. I think this is more of those, like, the juice heads and the Haze boys. When you, you give them, like, a Sierra Nevada, like a, a torpedo or something like that. I think this is along those realms. 6.2. It's got a lower side of medium, higher side of light body. Mouthfeel is, I think, very fantastic. I love the mouthfeel. I like... The carbonation level in it, it's it's present, but it's not overly carbonated. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's why I love this beer a lot. 
it's almost a mainstay in my fridge at this point mm -hmm. because I can go to Wegmans and buy a 12 pack of 12 ounce cans for eighteen ninety nine. Yeah. You're buying a lot of craft four packs for twenty bucks. The quality you're a, getting a twelve pack of this. So if I want an IPA, like I can live life. Jenny light on one shelf. <laughs> yeah. Jenny seasonal, and then if I want my IPA fix, this is a go. And how great is it that it's in a twelve ounce can? Yeah. I, I love, or you could buy the deuces. Oh, they do have. They have. They have the deuces. They have the tall boys. They have the twelve ounce cans. Fiddlehead knows what's up. No, it's great beer. Um, I don't know if Vermont has any other, like, notable breweries, but if this is the only one, pff, sign me up. Vermont's great. <laughs> Somebody in the comments could be like, have you guys ever heard of The Alchemist? No. <laughs> no. Are they a subsidiary of Fiddlehead? Because uh, they're probably okay. Actually, you know what, though? That's a that's a good question. What other breweries in Vermont, besides the big boys, right, right. Are, are, are we maybe sleeping on to get some distribution to, you know, the Finger Lakes? Yeah. Let us know. Please. Um, if, if there's more, like, fiddleheads hiding away in that state that we need to know about, freaking tell us, because we Yeah, because we get, down. like, Lawson's, we get some Alchemist, Fiddlehead. Right. Yeah, um, this is such a solid beer. What are you rating it? I think it's a, a four for me. It's always a yeah. classic. I, I'm, man... I'm going to give it a 4.25. I, I love it. Here's the thing. There's never not a time that this doesn't suck. <laughs> I've never had a bad one. I'm always I'm always excited to see it on a menu. I, I'm always like, ooh, if I'm at AJ's or something, can, I'm like, I'm going to grab a can. Can I tell you, when I bought this, it was only two weeks old. <laughs> Holy jeez. It was really? fresh, bro. It was. And look at us. We're both just sitting here drinking the whole thing. Yeah, it's a great beer. Fantastic. See, this is, I think this beer right here is a testament to uh, the old school hazy. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, this is this is your 45-year-old millennial that gave birth to the Gen Z hazies <laughs> and stuff. And I don't know. I was trying to make sense of that. It didn't work out. It's been a rough day. Uh, yeah. yeah. We're going to go now. Yeah, I'm going to go. Okay. You can stay. You can stay. I don't <laughs> okay, great. Uh, down in the description below. <laughs> All the links. Uh, hit us up on the link tree. It's got our email, untapped, Instagrams, the tweets, well, the axes. Sure. Well, I don't even know who uses that yeah. anymore. I'm on there sometimes. All right. Um, let's go. Okay. Cheers. <laughs>